Yes, 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 yes. Well, big up one. We got all out there. Let's just wait for a couple of people to come in. The sun's shining in November. Yeah, happy about that. Getting ready for the birthday tomorrow and the birthday bash at the end of the week. So, big up everybody at the beginning of the week. I hope you're good. I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you've done good things. And um, big up all those who was around for the uh, fireworks last night. I hope you did everything carefully. Not bright light and the usual thing and blah 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 blah. But um yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope everybody was careful with them thing and all them thing there. But um today we're not here for a musical thing. We're gonna talk about equipment. Big up Rodney with Bridget, yeah, Mr. On the cover. I'm hoping to see you either this weekend or next weekend at the Rare Groovy Dishan, you know what I mean? we Wherever you're there, just I want to see your smiley face under the hat. Yeah, <laughs> so, big, big up yourself. Right, um, I'll wait for a couple of people to come in and uh, just let me know you're there. And thing. Um, today we're going to talk about I've got my hands on the new APS stereo rotary EQ. So I'm just going to wait and um, get a couple of people in and blah blah blah. Uh, again, like I said, this weekend, this Saturday, is uh, my birthday bash down there at the Hare and Hounds, 229 Rystick Road, Greenford, UB6, 9RZ. You are welcome to come along and have a drink and have a dance. The entry will be free. We're going from 8 till 1 and it's going to be real nice. And tomorrow, I reach the big 6 -0. Yeah, I'm there. Big 6 -0. So, for me, I'm 30 years old, so I'm not even halfway through my life. So, I've still got another 63 or 64 years after that. So, long way we go. So, tomorrow, my birthday, we look after things. Anyway, going out, because I can't sit here all afternoon. So, um, those who ain't there at the moment can see it back later. So, we're going to chat about the new APS rotary eq which this version is a stereo eq so i'm gonna do the um explanations so that people know because the stereo eq externally is built exactly the same as the mono eq so i'm going to show you this one here what i have here and those who know know this is the stereo EQ now as you can see I will show you end to end 19 inch there's your kill switches here treble high mid low mid and then we come along a piece small upper bass and subsection so it's a Complete 16 band EQ again, like the rotary mono built with 16 bands, kill switches at the back. Let me turn this around at the back here. Oops, let me turn it around the other way. <laughs> Hold tight, Chris Douglas. I'll see you in the place. So just let me just turn this around the other way and I can show you the back. Right, now, as you can see, like the mono version, you have your two inputs, left and right inputs, and you have your left and right outputs, and your sub output, your flick switch, so you can either use it as a straightforward 16 band EQ, or flick your switch, and then you will now have a two way crossover, it will play up from 80 hertz to 20k and then from 20k to 80 hertz so you've got upper section and bottom section simple two waiting now what i want to do now is um tell you about a couple of differences and give you the internal explanation basically yeah right i'm going to show you all models now 
are built with switch mode power supply. So basically, uh, it's, it's better energy, yeah? Less energy, you're gonna draw from current from the wall. You've got a switch mode power supply, so less heating in the unit for the unit to get hot, hot, hot. So it's more efficient. We got Owen in the afternoon. Nice to see Mr. Baseline from up country. Right, so the unit is more efficient because it's got that switch mode power supply inside. And now the unit, let me turn this to the side so that I can show you. You should be able to just about see that. But um, inside each unit where the switch mode is now, you can see the red light just there as the power unit. So there is no on and off switch. You just plug it in. Switch mode power supply will do the rest. Boom, that's the end of that. All nice. Now, like the other units, um, everything is hard wired into the unit. So we're not doing no, you know, kettle leads and trying to keep the costs down. So everything is hard wired straight in, short cord, very secure, can't be pulled away, whether accidentally or on purpose. So all units now are hardwired, whether it's the mono or whether it's the stereo unit. Now then, now we're gonna get to the pieces about the actual units themselves. Like, like I say, the mono unit and the stereo unit are built externally exactly the same. So, I'm going to give you a little explanation for, you know, there's, there's enough sound man out there who know the difference between the mono and the stereo. But there's, to be honest, enough sound man and DJ who don't know the actual difference. So, um, I'm, I'm just going to big up Mellow Mellow. I'm just going to give you a quick explanation on this unit. Okay? Now... With the mono, you would, let's do it very simply. Say you come from your source, which is, let's say, a mixer or a controller, which is a very simple, you know, come out left and right, okay? With the mono unit, which has, like I say, the inputs and the outputs on the mono and the stereo are exactly the same. So let me turn this round so I can show you as we chat. Right, now with the mono unit and with this stereo unit, as you can see right there, we have the left and right inputs, yeah? And you have the left and right outputs. Now both units are built like this. Now, I'm going to show you that um, internally why this works with different, well, tell you why this works differently and try and give you some sort of explanation onto what this unit will do that the mono unit wouldn't do, basically. Right. So, basically, you would plug a left and right if you was doing everything very, very simply so I can make you understand this you would plug from your source a left and right a balanced left and right straight from your source from your mixer controller whatever balanced signal into the eq okay so you've got a balanced left and right going into the eq big up Linford bailey anyway you're there enough respect a man with enough knowledge again right so from there, with the mono unit, what would happen would be that the left and right, once plugged in, would now go into the mono unit and be summed. So basically, they would be put together, creating a mono signal. Right. After that, Inside the actual mono unit, everything is configured on the board, blah, blah, blah. That signal 
is then split open again. So the mono signal is split open again. So you have A and B or 1 and 2. So it's split, the mono signal is now split into 2. So you can send it out two ways. Now a lot of people who don't know would say, well that's, that's stereo. No, the stereo has now been summed into mono and then the mono has now been split out into two ways. Yeah, giving you still the mono signal but in two separate areas so the mono signal's been mixed. Now, the bass inside is still keeping that mono signal and coming out a single channel, yeah, as a single mono, yeah, for the subsection. So all three on the mono unit, and that is why it is called a mono unit, all three outputs are mono. Now, the stereo, this is where Big Up Cousin Ren, who's watching, the magician, yeah, the master, this is where Cousin Ren took time. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of little explanations, yeah. Took time to go on the board internally and change up a few things. So, firstly, the components that are being used in the stereo are higher value. Some of them are higher value components now in which to get this effect, yeah, because it takes a bit more work inside and on that board in which to get this stereo effect. So now, how it has been built and changed around inside now is that on the back again, you have the left and right input. So I just want you to look at it very simply. You're coming from your source, your mixer, your controller, yeah? Nothing else in between, nothing else before. You're coming from your source. You're coming from left and right, straight into the stereo EQ. Now, that is a balanced signal, yeah? Now, with the stereo EQ, you are now putting the left into the left and putting the right into the right. That will now go inside the unit and stay as separate signals, right? So, therefore, from the source all the way through, you are now running in stereo. Now, those who know about vinyl music and blah, 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 from mixing back in the day when tunes was pressed and some would be, you know, be up and down on the left and the right, but that was the natural effect. That was the natural effect. So stereos is like, you know, how people like to say, yeah, that's the natural effect. How I see it is now, and let me explain this, the stereo goes inside the unit and now stays as stereo through the unit, except, except where inside the unit, it monos up for the sub, giving you that option. So that is still there and higher value components had to be used to complete that, to make that happen. But irrelevant big up heavenly showcase and mr fletch what this is now doing now is it is keeping his left and right proverbs whatever way it's keeping his left and right lines so it's keeping a complete balanced signal inside so when you come out of this unit now you are now still coming out with stereo signals. So left will be left like it was when it left the mixer and right will be right like it was when it left the mixer. There will be no summing as such, yeah, for the EQ unless you want that for the subsection which is will be summed as a subsection. So that the stereo still runs the same as the mono. Now, what I found sound wise, now I'm going to say this because this is my opinion and I've, I've taken this out a couple of times, yeah, tested it out a couple of times 
in the house, in hall, outside, since I've had it. Now, I have to say, after having the mono unit, and after being so, so happy with that mono unit, yeah, it's lovely. You play lovely, you play wicked. And then my cousin came and said, well, you know what, forget that. <laughs> yeah, forget that. And he gave me this unit. And I have to say, I'm going to say this, the mirror, because it's stereo, the mirror imaging, you get in sound now from this unit. That's a next step up as what well, a next step up from the mono unit. It sounds delicious. There's, it, it, it really does. It sounds delicious. There is more, it, it, it sounds like there's more body there. There's more detail in your tops and your mids that you can control. There's more body in the kick section. And even, even though Ren's lowered down slightly the subsection to meet everything else in stereo, yeah, the subsections still play wicked. Absolutely wicked. I don't know how he's managed to, because I'm, I'm not an exactly, you know, this capacitor and this one and this. I don't know how he's managed to up, upgrade that for sound quality. Yeah, upgrade the mono for sound quality. I can understand how he's upgraded it to stereo, yeah, to make it a different way, blah, blah, blah. But I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm, I'm shocked. The sound quality of this stereo unit is our next step again. So uh, I have to big up Cousin Rem for that because wicked, wicked, wicked piece of unit, wicked piece of unit. And like I said, the unit is built externally exactly the same as the mono unit. Internally is where all the magic happens. And trust me, the, the work he's done internally, externally via the ears, yeah, you, you, will, you will be so, you spend your money on that, you, you, you won't look back. You won't look back, but I'm just doing the video to let you know about the unit and to explain the differences. And like, like I said, stereo, well and truly, well and truly big and excellent piece excellent piece uh, I can say thumbs up from me to cousin Ren from APS and uh, big up Mr Tony T looking forward to playing alongside you on the 18th it's gonna be nice big up cousin Ren I can say this this unit yeah it, it, it the body in the kick section especially boom boom that brought that up and the control on that and, and the tone coming from that kick section is, is wicked, mate, it's wicked. The, and it seemed to have more detail in the mid section and the top section just did what, what it, it actually did, you know. Um, Linford Bailey, yes, correct, correct, you are correct. There is a slight depth difference which I should have mentioned, and thank you very much, cuz. <laughs> but um, apart from that, yes, yes, apart from that, it is virtually the same. Big up Mr. Rudy, Twin Twin Ranks, West London, one of West London's finest. Big up yourself each and every time. Like, like I say, a, a unit for like this, for whether you are a sound man, a PA man, or whether you're just going to use this at home, you know? It all depends on, on your funding and everything, but true. But I can, I can blatantly say for all three types, whether you use a DJ for weddings or some, whether you use a, a reggae sound man with big preamp and, and big stacks, whether you use a hi-fi home person and like to sit and put on little speaker but hear the details 
big up Mr. Kai each and every time. For me, for me personally, this unit will deal with all three. All three. From time I can say I've got a piece that I can plug in indoors and listen to music quality and, and I can take that piece out and use that same piece very easily in a DJ world or in a sound system world. Not many pieces you're going to get that you can vary, vary that like that without any problems and with quality sound. That's the, that's the main thing, the quality sound that comes out of the unit. Yeah. And I'm going to say this while I'm sitting here. Yeah. There have been people who have, and I, I've got to double check the price with Cousin Ren. Yeah. But there have been people who have said to me, you know what? No, that's too much. No, like the, the rotary EQ, the mono version, six six hundred pounds, and there have been people who said to me, "No, that's too much. Why am I paying that?" Rare, rare, rare. Fair enough, you know, we all have our budget, yeah. But you look around at the cost of living and the cost of equipment these days, and what you have to pay out to get good quality sound these days, whether it be a controller or whether it be a speaker management. Yeah, or whether it be a speaker box. As a sound man and as a DJ, yeah, people know those who know know. Yeah, and you're not going to argue about the price if you know that that unit will do the job that you're after. Doesn't mean you have to follow fashion and go and grab one because everybody else has got one. If you don't need it, you don't need it. It's as simple as that. But personally. I'm keeping mine. <laughs> I'm keeping mine. Definitely. Most, 100%. Yeah. I now own the stereo. And before people say, oh, rare, 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 rare. Myself, I, I, I pay for what I, like everybody else, yeah, I pay for what I get. I look after the family. The family looks after me, but I pay for what I get. So, money, yeah, I don't, no a set price on the stereo as of yet but as soon as i've double checked i think i heard cousin ren tell me a price but i want to double check and make sure but um as soon as i get the price i will let people know you know about the stereo and like i said it is a fact of look at it quite simply with the mono unit let's say you use your eyes as the sound so the mono unit is coming out one direction straightforward like so the stereo unit use your eyes put a mirror so therefore the stereo unit is going forward and coming back you understand me like so that's the simple way of putting it yeah so you will get a mirror imaging sound effect from the stereo than you would not get with the mono, basically. And you know how people these days like the surround sound and rare tear tear, you know what I mean? Everything balanced, everything nice, everything crisp. So as well as the sound man and the DJs, we, we, we're up, up, up in it slightly. The reason, one of the reasons for this was to, you know, push it towards the PA mans as well, because we had a few PA mans who was very interested in the mono units. And a lot of the PA mans now are doing their line array this and, you know, fly in this box and blah, blah, blah. So a lot of these systems, them systems, do like the mirror imaging effect. It does balance it out better for their crowds and their systems. So basically, the internal design was taken out, thought about, and then redone so that, you know, let's put another piece out there for those who want that kind of effect. A lot of reggae sound men like to play their sounds, at, you know, in mono, which, you know, we do, it, you know, it, 
Yes, yes, I've already done it, cuz. I've already done it. I've already done it, yeah. Um, I've, I've, again, it is a universal switch mode power supply. Yeah, for those who didn't hear earlier, it is a switch mode power supply. Less from the wall, less heating, everything running correctly and more efficiently. So that, that, that has been done. Now, as, as I was saying, you, you've got the reggae sound mans who love completely, and I'm, I'm not going to lie, I love run, run my system sometimes in, in mono, you know, and, and control it in mono. But just do it in two sides, left and right, but it's, it's, it's running mono signal, yeah? A lot of the PA things, they, they believe in stereo everything. Even even some of their bass, they won't mono, they will still stereo. So, that, you know, that that's how they like to balance things. So a unit like so is actually perfect for a line array, okay? We got Michigan, I did um, see your video yesterday. We got you and ben, ben Wells, next level, next level. They, a system like that, yeah, I, 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 I want to go and test that this unit on, on Michigan system. <laughs> Let me just put it there one time. But um, as I was saying, that a lot of the reggae sounds, they like the mono. Okay. A lot of the PA sounds, they like the stereo. Because they want that left and right effect. So now we have now got both. Okay. And the, the, the reason I'm going deep into, well, not deep, hard, but, you know, slightly deep, big up, hard, hard, deep, um, into this conversation is because, like, I found out, as you go, you've got people who've been in the business for years and years, and this is no disrespect to some people, yeah, but some people don't know the difference between stereo and mono. It, to them, it's just a word. Yeah, they don't know the difference, you know. And no disrespect, some some man just hasn't needed to go down that road, you know what I mean? Just plug in, plug in, plug in, boom, everything nice, you know what I mean? But sometimes you have, especially if you're going to spend money on things, you know what I mean? You have to know these things, yeah? Like, certain men run their sound systems with um, speaker management, now, I've got nothing against any speaker management, yeah? Digital side, balance things out, all kind of things have to be done. Delays and this and that. Yeah, so the speaker management will work out this and that. So I, I, I've got nothing against them things. I don't use them personally, yeah? But I've got nothing against them things, yeah? So I've had, over the last couple of years, certain people who do run their system more or less pure digitally come and you know say to me well why would i pay money out for that when i got a, uh, I got speaker management that will get everything completely correct so why would i pay money out for that and like i said two people before one that's gonna depend where where and how you run your system two you can put that anywhere in your signal chain, basically, to get what you want, yeah? And three, for me, whether you have a speaker management or whether you don't, if you put this after your main source to tune up what you need to tune up, that speaker management ain't going to have to work nowhere near as hard. So... It's, it's all about personal hearing, basically, you know what I mean? Everybody's got different ears, everybody likes different things, everybody likes to do their thing different way. So, you know, it's all about personal preference, but to me, these kind of units, whether you have small set, whether you have big set, seriously, seriously effective. Right, well, that's the video. And I'm not going to play no music because the um, Facebook police lately have been on top of things. So if you play any kind of tune, they're going to jump me and then the video going down and no one's going to be able to watch it later. So 
that's a quick vid ended up being a long vid but a quick vid on the new APS stereo rotary EQ yeah if you need any I've had gentlemen's ask me for points and cut off points and this and that you know what I mean if if you really and I don't think that it's necessary but if you you know because for me I let my ears do the work so I didn't bother get the information I could easily go to cousin Ren and say right tell me this tell me that. but I let my ears do that so I tune via my ears not via the numbers you know what I mean but if you need little pieces here and there you know maybe I might be able to let you know what's what okay right that is that and um big up yourselves on a monday like i said send the video around to your people let the people know the aps uh, stereo eq at the moment we're just getting a few of the um backlogs done on the monos so the stereo is there but we're not going to be pushing it hard, hard, hard. There, there will be models there and blah, blah, blah. But it won't be coming out quick and fast. So things ain't running like that at the moment. So if you're interested, all you have to do, PM me and we can chat. It's as simple as that. And I can tell you how things can run. Simple as that. Yeah. Like I said, whether you've got a big machine, a medium machine or a small machine, whether it's the mono EQ, whether it's the stereo EQ, either unit, trust me, you will not be disappointed. Later will be greater.